for it right away no waiting no, not waiting for anybody we just we just go we, we stream we gaming i forgot to launch steam that's silly i need steam i also need to put some some of this on my face so it's not dry like a dry thing am i streaming yes i am i just uh, obvious looked weird for a second there I'm, I don't even know in which way it looked weird but it looked weird to me to my brain oh I forgot to make my sound I, my, yeah, my sound is not set up completely Yeah, it's fine you, you've not noticed it okay finally So we're gonna go ahead and start up uh, um, KSP, yeah, Mini Masters also needs an update while KSP doesn't, so that's, uh, you know... Ah, oh, fuck, I just spilled my fucking candy all over the bed. That's amazing. This is garbage, by the way, this does not taste good. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Because I bought it, so I have to eat it. So, as you can probably tell by the title, the main goal here is uh, to design, well, you know, what exactly what it sounds like, a universal transfer stage. Ba so basically just a a, an ext big ext starship with a lot of you know docking ports that can be used to send uh, to, th to a theor to theoretically. Hey Alice, how are you doing? Big old starship that could theoretically be used to send uh, kerbals and uh, or probes to any to to any other you know plant in the system. My uh, hold on, my camera is a bit out of uh, out of sync. I need to fix it. Like this, yeah. Ooh, that's more contrasty. That looks better, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, normally, the camera doesn't get out of sync until, like, a lot later in the stream. I don't know why. I just decided to get uh, uh, out of sync right away. But uh, it did do that. So that's interesting. Ow, my neck. Ow, my neck again. The pain is real. The pain is real, everyone. So yeah, for now we're just waiting for the game to launch. It takes a while, takes a few moments, eh? Mm. So how, how's everybody doing? Uh, yeah, understandable. I was considering making coffee right now, but I've decided that tea will do fine for now. I will get, and you know, I do have some, I do, I do have some like cola in the fridge, so that's good. Some caffeine in it. I'll have that later. Besides, I will not be, we not, we will not be doing anything too, uh, you know, too actiony, too extreme for now. We're just gonna be designing a spaceship which I guess does require a certain level of awakeness but that's okay
so yeah, we just... And I think we should... The game should be started now properly. Come on, we are about to st g give me the game. Yeah, game, and we have sounds even. That's amazing. Simpsons? Huh? These these don't look like the Simpsons. Hmm. <laughs> huh? I mean, I guess they turn green. I don't know. So, last time. So yesterday we did a mission to Minmus. Hey, underling, how you doing? I was just saying that yesterday we did a mission to Minmus and we got a massive, an absolute absurd amount of science from it, to be honest. So we have a whole, a whole set of new tools. Welcome to the stream, good to have you. Good. Are you are you instructing me on what to say to people who come to the stream? Is that what you're doing? Are you implying that I'm doing a bad job of greeting people? <laughs> Just working me, okay. Fair enough. Well, right. So, we're gonna start designing this big thing that's gonna be super over-designed. Because I'm expecting this thing to, lo to last me a long, long time. <laughs> the only issue that we'll have is that we don't really have any mm, any fuel tanks that only have like any large fuel tanks that only have liquid fuel, and we will only need liquid fuel because. We will be using nuclear engines, nuclear rocket motors. And as you can see, it only uses liquid fuel. And does not use a whole lot. Now it also doesn't have a whole lot of thrust, but that's okay. Now, the way we want to build this is we want to build this to be extensible. Hey, Tangelizer, how are you doing? Hey. This thing's a bit silly. Because it blows open, eh? So, yeah, the main thing, the main goal here... The main, th the main central part of this whole design... Should have a very minimal design. Because almost everything, up to and including just the fuel tanks... Should, will be docked to it. So, by default, it should have, you know, enough fuel to get itself, you know, at least somewhere, so it's not... Uh, we will we will be only interested in vacuum, uh, in vacuum delta V, obviously, this thing... If this thing gets into atmosphere, it's either for a very careful, very careful aero-braking maneuver, or I fucked something, or I fucked something up, one of the two. No, 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 no reason to ever fire the engines in atmosphere. So, we only care about our vacuum delta. Now, I've, I've, I, I will, I, I will have fucked something up in the future, that's for sure. That's just kind of how life is, you know.
Now, we can use a bunch of these adapters, right? But there's no real reason to, besides looks. But I guess we have plenty of uh, parts to work with for now. Yeah, we need some some fuel, and this looks like it will be enough. Maybe I'll just put one more engine on the top, not engine, one more fuel tank. Oh yeah, Valentine, Valentine. I'm not. I didn't buy any chocolate because I. I don't know why. I could have. The electric mustache hair reactor. I'm not sure that's the kind of reactor that you can make. I mean, it, wait, wait. Is that a reactor? that runs on um, mustache hair or is it a reactor that generates mustache hair that's um i feel that that's an important question to ask of course it does of course it does so now this is how we by the way this is how we're attaching the 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 nuclear engines and hey hydrogen i mean hydrogen doesn't exist in the kerbal space program universe so i don't need hydrogen there is um, there is ion engines but i haven't got those unlocked yet and uh, i don't like i do not require that kind of efficiency Actually, maybe I don't even want these. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to make sure these are nicely centered. Uh, uh, they, they not. Mm, that's not nice enough. Is it? Wait, wait, is it centered enough? I can't tell. I think it, it should be fine. Like, it doesn't, like, matter for the functionality, not really. Actually, no, I, I, I'm not gonna put this on there because I want to fa check something. I want to check. Hmm. I want to check if these things even have fuel cross feed or if I if I'm gonna be better off using something else. I know that the structure fuselage is supposed to. And no, yeah, okay, okay, they can get fuel from here. I don't need like to run any. That's good. That's good. Yeah, so this is our basic design. And the way it's going to work is... Um, basically, whatever it is I need to launch wherever I need it, it's, I'm just gonna dock it. Ah, oh, hold on. Well, I've made a bit of mis miscalculation, and now I need to run to the bathroom. I'll be back in a second. I'll just connect with my headphones! I'll be back in a second.
Right, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, so, uh, what was I talking about? Uh, right, 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 right. So, say design. This also needs some RCS. This obviously needs some electric charge. Quite a bit. Of, uh, so, because now this is this is not manned, so it requires electricity to function. So it will need. Uh, yeah. yeah. It will need. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is electricity? I'm a stupid. Yeah, uh, I'm. It, I'm going to give it a couple of these big boy electrical batteries because there's no reason to make them small. And we're gonna give them a couple of these retractable solar panels on the edges. Yeah. And just also a couple on the sides, so that this, so that if I forget to deploy this or something, there's always some electricity generation happening. Right, uh, I'm going to name this. And again, the go the point of this is we, we this is an interplanetary transfer stage that will be reused for multiple missions. You know, I can uh, easily add more fuel to it by just you know do by just docking a, a thing with a bunch of fuel tanks on it, yeah, just like that. That's see, that's a that's an extra thousand. That's an extra thousand. Yeah. And basically, I can just I, I can add however many I need for that particular mission. Hmm. Ob and obviously, uh, at a certain point, I, I will want to uh, I might want to uh, I might want extra engine power. In which case, I can just add another set. Well, I can just uh, dock another copy of this thing to it, and you know that will give me two more engines to play with. Now these are not cent not quite centered. Now they are. Yeah, thank you, snapping. And uh, they are also far enough apart where I can, where I can safely uh, dock two meter parts to it. So if we like y use this fuel tank as an example, you see it safely, safely away from the engines. So one of the things I will want to most like anywhere I go with like with a cable crew for example I will want a mobile processing lab for sure but but for all that fun docking stuff yeah I, I also need one of the a cup I mean, I'll put a pair of these communitrons on, right? Just uh, and just say that it's for redundancy. Really, it's for really it's for weight balancing. I like I like how it's a, I like how it's a space simulator because space is cool. It's it's a game about space. Tony Hawk, that's fucking amazing. That's a fucking amazing idea, honestly. Tony Hawk, yeah, that's cool. That's genuine. Uh, hold on. What's sh the shroud thingy? Eh? Alright. Nah, anyway, I need to click on the... Kelbis is plugging on the moon. I mean, no. Uh, I mean, I'll actually be attaching most to... Most docking. No, I do need docks on both sides because one of the things I want to do is I want to be able to stack these if I need more engine power. I need to come on, retract. Oh, this looks terrible actually. Oh shit. And in fact, I I, I, I did in fact plan to you know attach most things you know from behind. Make it a pull the design rather than a push design. So, 
We need ox. We need a one of these. We need a bunch of these in here. I'm gonna just put one like in line one because I do want this to have dock some docking capability by itself, just in case. I like ideally it, this thing should never be the thing docking. Something should be docking to this thing, not the other way around. Never the other way around. Now the okay. Uh, one problem with the current design is that this will not fit very nicely, and uh, uh, you know it, it, this will be very difficult to launch like this. So these actually need to become foldable. So, uh, so I have to figure that out real quick. To be sensitive. Sure. Yeah, space is fucking cool. I won't. I'm not sure if I'd want to look at Earth specifically. There's a lot of cool shit to look at. But it doesn't fucking matter because space is cool as fuck. We, we, we. Mm. I'm actually. Um, I just realized that maybe, maybe I need to give a bit more thought to the design, to the fold, to the design of the folding bits of bit of this. Just because, well, I'm not actually sure how to make it fold up nicely, you know? Well, okay, I'll, I'll think about it in a second, because for now what I need to do is I want to build a little space dog. I mean, yeah. S no, no, screw the solar system. Need to go beyond that. L going fucking interstellar. Which is a. We, yeah, we can go interstellar, which is a movie that exists. Mars? Would I see Mars than go interstellar, or rather see Mars than Earth? Yeah, I mean, yeah, fair enough. Doesn't honestly doesn't matter. All of space is cool. Some space is cooler than other space, but it's not. It's honestly a marginal difference. Where are the... There you are. And this needs to have a ton of RCS, on, RCS power because basically this thing just needs to be able to... You know, dock with whatever it is we're trying to dock and... Interstellar 5555. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's also a movie that exists. Uh, I've, well, I've not seen that one though. So I think actually my. S Hold on. Like I think my channel banner on Twitch, which you don't really see those things a lot, really. So I don't. I didn't put much effort into it, but it's just some. It's just some NASA picture. Of Mars. Da I mean, yeah, no, Daft I think that's also a movie that exists and Daft Punk did the soundtrack for, no? Because obviously their album... Uh, which one? I forgot the name. Is that the name of the... Is that just the name of the album? That might just be the name of the album as well. But like, it's got, a, like, it's got, you know, a bunch of songs of there. One more time. Uh, obviously... Uh, fuck. I forgot the name of the of the song from the album that I like that I really like. There's something about us. There is a very disco. Yeah. That one. That's a really good Oh 
Oh yeah, I see. I better not open up YouTube. It's a bit too laggy. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, so this thing sh yeah, has quite a bit of monopropellant to play around with and uh, like its purpose is to just um, to be able to retrieve um, to be able to retrieve just various payloads and then dock them to the transfer stage. So like we could have you know a bit of payload that's literally just uh, just just a one of these with a bunch of experiments attached and uh, you know, uh, and the docking port on each end, and instead of having to have engines and docking systems on this thing, we just use, uh, yeah, we just use uh, our normal, yeah, we just use the, the space tug. Uh, it has, it has a small reaction wheel in, like, this... Th this probe has a reaction wheel, it, does, it doesn't need a dedicated one, like, it it might need a bigger one just to rotate better, that's a... And the idea is that I would actually put, you know, RCS thrusters, but not RCS fuel on my payload, so it would be balanced. But if you check this, I, I do think that this has a, a, quite a bit of reaction. Yeah, it has some reaction wheel. I can... Oh, I forgot. Also... Yeah, yeah, I can change it. Yeah, I, the, yeah, the nice thing about these parts is that I can just, you know, get kerbals, get kerbals to fi to change it all up. This will also need some, uh, th th some of these, yeah, and I will also give it just a bit. I mean, honestly, two two of these probably overkill, but it's it's fine. It's just some battery and recharging capacity on its own, so it's not ch standard in space. Mm. And f when it, co it will not need a strong antenna because it will always be able to, you know, use this as a real use this as a relay. Which, by the way, uh, I will uh, I will actually go ahead and put a relay antenna on the main stage because that is something that we always going we are always going to want. So like and again, the, the this the stage by itself is supposed to be very bare bones. Anything, like everything is supposed to be docked later, including fuel. So I just calculate how much fuel I need, right? I send a, a you know send up a, send up a mission with some fuel tanks and whatever modules I need to uh, need to attach to it, and then you know we just send it, send it wherever. Uh, the first objective of this is obviously going to be Duna, that is, you know, the standard, the standard first interplanetary mission in the Incubal Space Program for a very good reason. <coughs> but uh, I'm not sure we're going to launch the mission today because something I also want to do is I also want to... I also want to actually fulfill that contract that we got for uh, you know, for the Moon Space Station, and I think I'm going to move. move I, I'm going to move. Try and move our current space station to Minmus, maybe, or uh, maybe some, and you know, see how that goes. So yeah, that's the plan. We will launch this thing into space and just, you know... We might send it out with some... Like, the downside to this is that it will not... It will leave us without the... Yeah, oh yeah, with main sails it should be a piece of cake, honestly. The downside of using this solution is that it might, it will not leave me with a lot of, like, it will not let me launch multiple interplanetary missions at once, so I might limit the use of this for only the manned interplanetary missions and uh, launch my, you know, unmanned probes m separately uh, you know, with, with their own little transfer stages, especially since probes don't necessarily need to come back They and... Uh, 
and you know just uh, on, on the whole they're just quite a whole lot might easier to build so okay what does this oh, uh, I've forgotten to put the, the RCS thrusters on it haven't I so command and control give me these uh, I could put them on these on the sides but that'll make it a bit too unnecessarily complex so I'm not going to uh, because again, it, it this is mainly an emergency thing. It doesn't need great RCS capability. It just needs to have RCS capability. Now the okay, I'm the qu th now here's a question. This is 0.3 tons. This is 0.75. Uh -huh. So like, this is the big the big boy relay antenna. I d and I do want to put this thing on to the, onto the main platform just because but the thing is is uh, that's why it's really big and uh like I kind of would like to only put one of them on but it's not really like it's not designed to be ra radially mounted and doesn't really fit with my whole uh you know with my whole design philosophy of putting as many things in line as I possibly could Okay, uh, what if I only want one of these, which, like, I, I really don't want to have multiple of these, uh, right? But if I only have one, so that's 0.3 tons on one side, what can we add to the other side to match that mass? Like, it, because it doesn't really matter that, that, that it's asymmetrical as long as it's all the same mass. Like, we don't care if it's different volume or whatever, because we're not dealing with any atmospheric um, resistance, we're not dealing with any friction. So... So obviously we can put the normal communication antenna on the other side, and that will be... We're not going to put the. Th we are not going to put the service scanner on there, by the way, because so it, this is something that you want to leave in orbit for a long time. So we will want to just uh, put these on separate modules, and you know, just undock them at our destination, place them in polar orbits, so they can scan the whole planet and just leave them there for a while. Uh, but a camera drone. Well, well, this okay. We do have to make sure that you know this weight is like this is a bit further out, but it's not like further out enough where it's gonna cause problems. Up, Control Z to the rescue. To the rescue, I said. There we go. Oof. Like, uh, but because like if I put this to, to the side, it'll be offset. Like we can afford a little bit of imbalance, but like okay, if we extend this and then extend this, this should actually be fine. Even though this will reduce the effectiveness of this particular solar panel, not by too much though. So let's see, that's a point seven point point zero seventy five of a ton, isn't it? And this is point th point three. So we need like over two over two tons. Uh, over two tenths of a ton. Uh again, I mean I, I think it's a bit heavier, no? Uh it's actually about right, but I mean uh it's it's an option. Uh this is not it's not my first choice. Oh, I'll try to figure something else, but if if I can't... Let me, let me calculate, because this is 0 .70, 0 0.075, yeah? This is actually a really awkward size to work with, right? So it I would need to be a zero, 0, something that's a 2 ton, and then something that's zero, zero, uh, 0.2 ton tons and then something that is point zero 
uh, yeah, 0 0.025. Uh, let's see if anything like that exists. Ah, uh, this is 1.125, that's not good. Uh, we can have zero zero f a bunch of 005s, zero zero we can have like l a light on there, but like, that's just, you know, random extraneous bullshit. That we, that is, it's not... How much? How much is an advanced inline stabilizer of these? Uh, that's a point one, what point one ton. With, and you know, just having uh, some of these on will obviously make uh, make it just will just make it easier to work with this thing, make it more uh, you know easier to rotate. Mm, structural, not gonna need any of that. By the way, look at this thing. I'm gonna try and build a hell I'm gonna try and build a quadrocopter with these by the way when we get to dune I want to build a dune a quadrocopter not a not a helicopter because quadrocopters are easier you can since you can just you know have all the have blades spinning in different directions and not have to worry with uh, with a tail rotor for counter rotation and any of that nonsense that like, I, I've tried to build a normal helicopter and it's it's really difficult. Why is the helicopters are kind of insane? Why the fuck is my... I've, I've lost my elastic bandage. Like, I've unwrapped it from my hand. And then I put it somewhere. Man, I don't really, really need it at the moment. It's not... My, my hand's not hurting, I'm just... Yeah. Yeah, th that's the thing, right? Because you can't fly a jet there, obviously. Because uh, the atmosphere hasn't got any oxygen. But it has an atmosphere. And you can, I mean, on Mars you can fly a helicopter, the NASA flew helico a helicopter on Mars. It was like a quadrocopter or an octocopter, whatever copter. Point is, if, like, you can, you can, you know, rely on the atmosphere to fly, just, just not on the, just not on the composition of the atmosphere. So, like, yeah, a proper, a prop plane can, can fly, probably, a pro and a, you know, anything, anything using spinning propellers should be able to fly there. And that should make biome hopping much easier. The, much more efficient than having to use any fuel because... Obviously the... Uh, you know, the rotors in Kyobo Space Program mostly use... Well actually this one might be an engine fuel. No, it's intake... Wait, intake... Oh, it... it, it Oh, okay, no, this one, I will actually, actually, I don't have an electric one, do I? That's a bit silly. That's annoying. Wait, this uses in TK, uh... I mean, if it, ah, uh, no, no, this makes sense, actually, yeah, because it's a combustion engine, so it needs oxygen, I'm, I'm being, I'm being silly. But we do have this rotation. Okay, th I, th I do think there's an electric version of this engine, though, I, that I knew, I'm, I've yet, I'm just, I'm yet to unlock it. I'm gonna check, I'm actually... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check that just to make sure. It's probably in in th you know, some silly places I haven't checked. Precision engineering is mostly gun parts for for BD. I might just remove BD armory because I'm not gonna use it. I'll keep it because I do want to fuck around with it sometimes in uh, you know in uh, in sandbox. I'm just, it's just kind of useful and just kind of a waste of a waste of my screen space here in career. This is a very small, I think. Yeah, octagonal, octagonal charts. Uh, this is a really small relay antenna, I think. Yeah, and it's not super long range. Weather analyzer and and yeah, these are just small things. Unmanned tech, automation. This is the big boy relay antenna. This is like the end game shit. We can this can send stuff anywhere we want. And the big boy, okay, Minotron as well. Large probes, MTM staging, Moho transfer module. Interesting. MPO, Moho planetary. Oh, that's interesting. Why is it like Moho specific? Yeah, I just, you know, I already... Uh, I'm just trying to find where... 
where that stuff oh it's an advanced motor season oh wow that's a, okay that's a waste of it that's a waste of it And we, we well, okay, oh no 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 we we do get these on uh, at this level and three ha so we don't need and we don't even need advanced landing for it that's cool oh but advanced landing also has these rotors we can okay we can actually get that pretty soon if we build so we can you know build these electric motors and build a, a small little quadrocopter for Duna it would have to be unmanned obviously I mean, not necessarily I guess we'll see how it goes. I mean, like obviously the atmosphere is pretty thin there, but the gravity is also pretty low, so it's both harder and easier to take off in that way. Oh, how much is okay? Okay, okay. How much does one of these weigh? Uh, too much. I just because I just had the thought that maybe we can just, you know. Just, just put a capsule on there so that theoretically, so that, yeah, so that Kerbal could, f could fly this thing if need be. It's actually, you know what, just having some emergency, having some emergency, uh, how do I say it, Kerbal storage, I guess. Uh, it sounds bad when I say it like, when it's, yeah, Kerbal storage. But no, having some, yeah. Just, you know, having an emergency space for a couple cables on the main thing could be good. Like, if everything else breaks down, if everything else, if I crash everything else, and, you know, I, I'm forced to ab maybe abandon some of the other components to get Delta V back, I can still get cables back. Mm, like, the problem, the, well, it's not really a problem, it's the annoying thing with that. Okay, hold on. Like, I really don't like using these structural fuselages because it's like it's use of space without you know without a good without a real need with, with, without it like it's just that they're just too big for what they do and what they do is they just provide a base for these engines so I'm like I, th I think I, j I don't like any of this I'm gonna redesign I like this core, right? It's it's fairly basic, but you know it doesn't need to be complex. I just need to figure out how to actually launch the thing. I could no, I don't want, like I I just have an idea that I could try and assemble the whole thing in orbit, right? But I I think it's easier to design to I think uh yeah I think a folding design will just be easier. Yeah, like I said, I, I like that these, like I, we can, you know, disassemble and reassemble it in orbit, but that would be a bit more tedious, I think. And the, and, f and honestly, just designing things to fall this ca is cool. I mean, wait, do we need them to fall though? Because like. Because like if we do this, for example, right, and you know, have them just extend, oh, we can have our engines, you know, safely out of the way for. We can, yeah, we can have the engines just yeah safely out the way for when we w want to attach larger things maybe behind them. And I think, like, so at least it used to be that if you have a really long craft, it's... If you have a really long craft, it can be... Especially a craft that is assembled out of many, ma many com individual components, you know, through use of docking. I, like, I, I remember at least it used to be that it was more stable if the engines are somewhere at the front of it, pulling the whole thing rather than pushing. But I'm not certain if that's still the case or if they change it. <laughs> so 
So, okay, this is... Uh, because this is, you know... It, you know, attaching things to it, it'll still make it very quite wide, right? So... Because the thing is, even if I... So, uh, uh, let me demonstrate. Um, uh, yeah, let me, I'll just demonstrate it. Yeah, yeah because even just... It will have to be a pretty complicated folding mechanism for it to do what I want it to do. And yeah, that's the thing. Like, th what's making this difficult, you know, especially ca compared to what we did with the. Okay, no, 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 I got an idea, I got an idea, I, I got, I got an idea. So, uh, I do think that you can send fuel through these alligator hinges at least. But, like, this, ide this idea is, is based on what we did with the... Based on what we did with the... Uh, with the moon station. We don't... Okay, we actually we don't want any, any, any fuel. Actually, yeah, we do not want any fuel in our outer sections. Just to prevent any sort of imbalance. Uh, for now, I'll try using a... I'll try using the just the structure fuselage. Because it cannot touch very neatly. Like, like this, we can... Uh, you know, do this, but and then on the other end, let me show you. It's another alligator hinge. Oh shit! Can you uh, hold on? And the engines are then. Now this will uh, really require a cable to assemble, I think, because I will want. Yeah, and, and look at that. They do. You see, like this thing pops up, so they do get fuel. So this starts. You know, this starts like this, and not like. This. And I'm gonna limit the angle to ninety. To ninety degrees. Yep, and this will also limit the angle to 90 degrees. So, th th okay, so this is like the final configuration, right? And again, if we, if we use a lab to demonstrate, uh, lab is in science, not utility. Boom. Like, safely out the way and we can rotate it, we can rotate it like this, so the cables get a nice view of, nice view of the exhausts. And then, you know, and but on launch, it will be like, just like this. And look at that. And that's, you know, uh, I'm going to change it a little bit, though, because uh, I like the idea, but I will change it a bit because I don't like the engines being at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to take, we're going to take this and we're going to attach this to the lower bits. Yeah. Uh, maybe no, no. Still the high bits because I don't want it sticking out too far. Otherwise, it's gonna be hard to dock. Be like it doesn't m really matter where exactly it is. I just, I just, I just need to make sure this thing is compact enough. And this, and this, uh, this should. Let me extend this one as well. Yep. But this this face is the wrong way, so I'll just rotate that the, these hinges. And now it's facing the right way. Easy. Once again. Uh, whoop. And 
Boop. And that's how it launches. And, and we'll do and we'll do an action group to activate it. And it'll look really cool. L oh, I, I, I just, I read launchable as laughable and like, I mean, that's a bit harsh, but it's not entirely wrong. <laughs> but no, I just can't read apparently, which is pretty laughable. I Imagine weeding. Right, now I need to figure out how do I, you know, how I'm, how I'm going to make... How am I gonna make communication happen? I'm gonna save the design because this looks very launchable at this stage, so... I... Yeah, right now I just need to figure out... Like I said, just need to figure out how to make... Oh, we, we need to check this, by the way. So I think the way it needs to... Like, I think you... The way this thing works, by the way, I think it requires you... Or at least, you know, it improves if... Uh, you crash something on the planet before you scan, I think. Uh, like it picks up the seismic things. Yeah, it's yeah, it's surface only. I I do remember, I don't know that. And I do think that it, like there's definitely some sort of science you can do by cr by just crashing things into the ground, which is well actually it's pretty realistic because you know that's what seismology is, right? It's about how the ground how 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 the ground is shaking, and you make the ground shake by hitting it. And you can figure things out about the ground by doing that. Mm -hmm. So, yep, go make your breakfast. I'm gonna have to get some food sooner rather than later. I think I will see. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna. No, 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 okay, I need to, I'm gonna work with this with this configuration actually because I do need to keep the whole thing I could make it longer, right? It's not too long at the moment. I could get away with making it longer. I Don't want to you know make to me and I don't, I don't want it to have too little fuel because Like I will I, I said that I will put some emergency so, Okay the cobots don't need to be in control, right? So it'll be much easier for me to just, you know, put put a crew cabin in there. Because again, like I said, the cobots, they there's a probe here. The cobots don't need to. to the cobots don't need to be in control, like they really don't. Also, nice thing about this is that you now this can function folded in a pinch. It's a bit long, but again, the whole craft is gonna be gonna end up being very long, so I don't mind it too. I don't mind too much. Oh, uh, let me. By the way, I'm just checking that. So, yeah, like, this technically has enough delta v to get to Duna and maybe back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so see, this is... Yeah, this can... This, this should be able to make it to, to Duna and back. Yeah, Eve... Is a bit harder, I think. So like, yeah, this actually has enough Delta V for, uh, at least it has enough Delta V for a one-way trip to any planet from Kerbin. So like, yeah, if, if we keep these tanks filled up, filled up, this should have enough, you know, to bring us back.
So yeah, we have... I mean, yeah. It is pretty relaxing, isn't it? Uh, I, w I will put a couple of these in here just in case. I'm not sure what else I... Like, I'm, we, we're still missing the communications. And we need long-range communications, as this is intended to be interplanetary. I think what I'm going to do here, yeah, is I'm going to... Uh, it doesn't matter which way this face is, not really. Is I'm going to make the communications a separate module. A, th a, th a sort of an end cap module is what it's going to be. Did I put any communications on this? I uh, know it doesn't need an extra antenna. It ha its own should be more than good enough. This should never be more than a, ca than a couple kilometers away from this thingy. And this thingy. Will have its very own. Will have its very own. Communications module. And again, like we f what will will the I'm not sure I'm not even sure it should be a separate module. Like we might just, you know, take away the ability to dock from the front, which is not ideal. We had we'd have to use a modified version of this if we want to dock like a second set of engines to it. But that's n like revising the design slightly is not that big of a deal. And it's just that I do want to be able to, you know... It's just, I, I do want a relay, right? And I want a, a normal communitron. Like, antenna type relay, so... I, I mean, I'm gonna check to see if, you know, if we need both. We might not need both, I might just be a bit stupid. So, like, if we use... Oh, but like what's the re like what's the difference between a relay antenna and direct antenna in KSP? This space network. Yeah, th oh, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just checking my... This can be... Yeah, for 15G... Which level is, tra is the tracking station I'm right now? Because what we are currently at the you know second to best level of antennas, the 15G antennas, and it also you know it depends on you know ah uh, facility level two. We can upgrade the tra tracking station because, like, uh, because at the moment, uh, yeah, at the moment, do do and rest, we will lose contact sometimes.
Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah. I could launch. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good point. I can upgrade the th tracking station later. Well, again, it's not super expensive to upgrade, and I do, I, d I will want to upgrade the research and development thing soon, so I, d I want to save money. Runway is so terrible right now. <laughs> Our runway is actually fucking useless at the moment. It's amazing. It's already fully upgraded. Uh, let's see, what kind of missions do we have at the moment? Not too much. Like, this is a bit too difficult at the moment. Uh, new habit we're not doing that ever because it's insane. And it's quite difficult to do, I think. New unmanned probe. Antenna and generate power, fully assembled and launched, designated orbit around Minmus, have a thermometer and a mystery crew unit. Uh, we can do it if we need money, but uh, we don't. Explore Minmus is just. Uh, yeah, that's. Specific orbits and stuff like that. Just testing. This is super easy. I get into the moon at this point is. Nothing. Uh, does it like does that thing does that experimental thing count as a science data from the surface of the moon? That's a good question. Why am I feeling so sleepy right now? Like I'm actually so tired. It's so good. That, it's so good that I decided not to play uh, minions because I'd. I I I'd, I'd 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 quit already. I'd quit already if I was playing uh, minions. Because, like I'm just I might not even end up do like actually launching anything today because I'm just dead. We've been trying to design the, this thing for an hour. That's great. Okay, so now we can just have the one really antenna. That's cool. That's fine. So we can just have this thing. That's good. That's perfectly fine then. Let's know. 15G. Wait, but wait, does having two antennas increase my... Increase the power? I mean, I don't think it does, but I just need to check, you know? It'll be, because it'll be funny if it does. What does like, what does combinable mean? Does it mean that two of them makes it more powerful? What does it even mean? It can be it can be just a normal antenna, that's cool. It has, it's not super fast, you know, for transmission science, not super efficient. But should be fine. I don't particularly care about. We we might we might put more more electricity on this thing just in case, right? Oh wait. I have no idea what combinable means though. Because does this say combinable? Yes. But what does that mean? Ah. 
I'm I'm gonna read that in a second. I, I finally actually put the sound on my phone on my new phone. So now I. Uh, what? Wait, hold on. Am I going mad? Where the fuck is? What? Uh, I guess the message got d deleted. I think the message got deleted, so I didn't do anything. Uh, right. Can we do like? Can we make? Oh, we can't. We can't have custom action groups ca yet. Can we? No. Oh uh, no, we can have four. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, I'll check that. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll check that. Uh, I mean, that, prob that probably hasn't, let's be honest. Uh, does toggle hinge do what I think it does? I'll have to check that. Uh, what? Uh, maybe not on stage? What? What? It's gone. That's Axis groups, what? I, ah, action groups and access groups. Again, I haven't got any custom action groups available yet. Because I need to upgrade something. Okay, understandable. So let me... Aha. Wrap up with the strongest sum of the possible. Divide the best. Ah. Okay, so it's... I mean, we can just... Combine 0.7 combinability. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I'm not gonna. But it also says that this, you know, should be able to safely communicate with. Uh, I should communicate consistently with the inner plants as well as dress. What is dress? Uh, let's go back. Uh, save and check. Ah, finally. What did I want? I just want. Sorry, I, I wanted to check something, and I, my, my, and I just, my brain disappeared. For a I got distracted reading something. Like Duna is way out here, right? Well, I think we're get, actually getting close to a decent, to a de like to a decent, to a decent launch window. <sighs> I'm 
very sleepy, y'all. Like, very sleepy. Blech. Okay, look at that. And Minmus Gurish does have a nice sapling. Let's take a look at it. But it's night right now, so it doesn't work. Unless it does. Science completed 2.31%. Just a nice little science station doing its nice little science thing. I'm so tired, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, we got our level 2 tracking station. Our connection with the level one. Uh, yeah, you you still waking up? I think I'm falling asleep already. I think I I'm just like my brain isn't. Oh my neck! So level, so this is a. So you mean like two of the small ones to have connection with the level two? But I think, uh, like, I think if I'm understanding this right, this should actually be fine for a level for a level two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, th that yeah, that's what else what it also seems to be. That's what that's yeah. Th that's how it seems to me as well from reading the wiki. Why do I not see... Ah, oh, because it's at the very bottom. Holy shit. It's tired. Absolutely just... Sleepy. Beta. Big sleepy owls. Oh, for real. Okay, so this should be fine then, right? We have so like we have an emergency kerbal return, re re right? And the thing is, we are likely to send three kerbals, an engineer, a pilot, and a scientist. So, and like, but the, we we have no good way of squeezing you know three kerbals in there. Not unless we you know we attach a pomegranate somehow. Right, but then we have no space for this because it's. Ah, uh, I mean we. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, we can do. Okay, no. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, we can like this is. We can totally do this. Uh, that's perfectly fine. Uh, we, okay, we now have emergency and emer emergency. We can. Uh, yeah, we can now. We now have the capability to return four kerbals. We can even give this a parachute and uh, no, this is never meant to come down, okay? And you know, this will, this is just so they can, ke ke yeah, this, look at it. That's nice. Nice little ball. On your re-entry the design bureau cried a lot when the finance department cried. That's your, it's your lot. 
two little green cobbles like peas in a pea pod. The engineers managed to fit an extra cobble in the same space. And many little cobbles inside this one. Couldn't fit more. Amazing. I have a, I have a pomegranate. I need to eat it before it goes bad. But I don't want a pomegranate. It's too much effort to eat, even though it tastes great. Mark one cockpit. I think this is a mod one. Yeah. The mark one inlay cockpit. Yay. Lots of cockpits. I mean, are you honestly you the only experience you've missed out on is the experience of the seeds? It's like juice with seeds is what it is. That's what pomegranate is literally just juice with seeds. Like they look real cool, right? The the, the, the little pomegranates. That's that's the best thing about them. They look cool. The little, but that's about it. So again, and yeah, from then on. I can just quickly, you know, throw together a few modules to demonstrate what kind of modules I'm, I'm thinking of when, when I want to send this. Op I'm not thinking of removing the engines, actually. You might be surprised to learn that I'm not thinking of that. Okay, so yeah, this is it. This is how it's gonna fly. And let me show you just a few of the things that I might attach to it. So obviously, Clampatron docking port. And, it will, you know, and from then on, we can go wild. We can put one of these on, because just you know, so it can look, so it can look a bit nicer. Yeah. And then, well, first of all, fuel. And at this point, I will actually start using the mod to just make this thing bigger because I don't think vanilla KSP has, you know, big liquid fuel tanks. Ah, uh, hold on, I need to enable... Wait, what? Why is crossfit... Is crossfit disabled somewhere? That's because that's the very little delta V that we're getting right now. Like, there's something that costs us a lot of Delta V. What? Is this thing that heavy? What? Oh. Why is this costing us so much Delta? What? What? This straight up doesn't make any sense? Two tons. So this is two tons, right? If I add something else that's this big, is that also gonna... That's... What? I'm very confused. Like this, for some reason, this like halves the delta V. No, like it... Why? Yeah, that's you know, that's the idea. Babylon is longer. Why does this is this bugged? Zero seventy seven percent. Zero seventy seven plus to weight ratio. Do you have any idea why that happens?
It's like, yeah, it's not about accounting for Kobold's weight. What? Well, that makes no sense, though. Okay. It's not. Does the do the other like the round ones do this? Yeah. Why do all the round ones do this? What? That is... Is there like some sort of a bug with this? That's the only thing that makes sense? Okay, okay, but okay, but if I... Now, if I if I touch this... Yeah, see, this appropriately increases the Delta V to over... To like, you know, a lot. Yeah, this up. Actually, see, this appropriately. So if we can uh, scale it down, it. Yeah. yeah. And you know that makes sense. This is sensible. This is a this is a sensible amount of delta V. This is driving me, this is driving me insane right now. Because it's like, just like... Yeah, it just goes like, fuck, no, fuck, like, fuck you in particular. Wait, what? It's so like, I added an extra stage? Like a magic stage is with nothing in there, man. And like they say, and uh, that spawns some extra delta V out of nowhere. Yeah, look at it. Every time I add a stage, it actually increases the delta V by a little bit. But it's an empty stage with nothing in it. Yeah. Like, just... Oh, you cannot see it, though. You cannot see it. Let me show you, because my camera's in the way. I forgot. Uh, that's the problem with these games, right? Is that whatever you put your camera, you're covering up a bunch of something. There's no way. No way to avoid it. So let me show you. Let me show you what's, what happens. So right now, you, do you see... Okay, do you see? We have 1049 Delta V. If we add a stage between, you know, between the pomegranate recovery model decoupling and the engine firing if we add an extra stage suddenly it spawns over 500 extra delta v out of nowhere there is nothing in the stage and uh, it just keeps going we can just keep adding more of these and that will calculate like and it, it and each one adds a bit more delta v now we do get diminishing returns with this with some of the later ones adding you know fractions of a fraction fractions of a meter per second like millimeters per second at this point probably but this just spawns delta v like i want to i want to say that this is probably just an editor bug and the actual delta v is normal but i'm not sure it could be a bug that persists when we launch the craft and i don't really want to i don't really want that to happen like are there any bugs listed i'm gonna just check the wiki for this module maybe this uh, maybe this is a well-known bug with it and i'm just you know i'm uh, and i'm just being clueless Pome pomegranate yeah pomegranate i like that it just called Okay, KV3 pomegranate tree enter module. Housing three combos, round shapes, similar to a pomegranate or st stay putting. Gene yeah. place on top of rocket. Products trivia. It's cap. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, okay, nothing about it. Okay, nothing about any bugs like this on the wiki that I can see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just incredibly confused about this whole thing right now, and I, I'm not sure what to do about it. To be honest with you. And like, if I just decouple it first, it just, it just thinks that, like, I don't know. Yeah, it just thinks that that I should have no delta V left after that. And like. It's clearly not the not not the antenna's fault because if I just place the antenna, you know, it's perfectly fine. It's clearly not. Uh, yeah, it's not. Cal I mean, could it be no. It doesn't make sense for it to be calculating any sort of re any sort of atmospheric resistance because yeah, I have it set to vacuum. Why? Why is it like this? This is such an odd bug. And specifically with the three, with the round ones. And like, they're not particularly light, but they're not particularly heavy either. Like, if we place the other three meet the three person pod in here, it behaves like I would expect. It behaves normally. Okay, any of these other pods. If I place just three lender cans, right? I love lender cans, by the way, because they just, you know, they fit not nicely in line. Look at that. Is that lighter? That's lighter, actually. Three of these are lighter than one of these. That makes it weird. Like, that makes it kind of long and, uh, you know, ugly. But... <laughs> that actually saves me a bit of weight. Just for that, I might use it, because yeah, because this is I think this is actually the lightest option for bringing three kerbals with me. Unless no, I can't. Unless I want to use these, but that's silly. Like a size doesn't matter that much, right? You know, not in not in terms of delta v, it doesn't. I can just have. I'm just gonna put three of these in because it avoids the bug and it is also lighter and and you know saving weight is pretty nice uh on that note is this is this structure fuselage the uh, the best option we have for this part because this is purely structural right i'm not putting any fuel in there i don't want any i don't want any any risk of uneven fuel usage. Even the Kerbal Space Program doesn't really do that. It's still a risk. I don't... Like, it's it's more... I'm, it's more that I'm predicting that I might make a really silly decision, a really stupid mistake, and I'm safeguarding myself against that. So this is 0.1 ton. This is 0.125. So, th okay, this... Okay, we would need... Like two of these girders to reach the same length, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. And they're actually heavier per girder, so this is actually better. <laughs> Structural tube. What is like? I I forgot what it what it does. Like I think it like it does some funny things. I uh, guess maybe not. I th oh, you can make it longer. You can you can make these th these things real long, eh? How much does it weigh then? If I make it longer, is it lighter this way? I actually don't know if it is. I mean, yeah. 
I mean, I mean, this a cup. I mean, it, it is designed to be a structural component, yes, but it is not the only thing in the game that is designed to be a structural component. Like these girder seg segments, you know, that's also what they do. And I just need to check, maybe they're lighter, even. It doesn't necessarily make sense, but. Ugh. Yeah. Yawn. But it's a possibility. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes things are illogical. And you, and you have to consider that option. That said, I'm going to get rid of these because, like, they're 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 purely for aesthetics, and uh, therefore it is wasted. It is wasted mass. We will also these need to be up here on the very yeah up here because you want these you know on the very extreme ends of, of the craft. Mm, we can... No, I'm not gonna put this higher. I like this where they are. Oh, I don't want them overlapping too much with the Kerbal storage. I, I keep calling it Kerbal storage and that feels... I don't know, disrespectful? But that's what it is. I mean, the game does call this thing the, the Hitchhiker storage container, so, you know... The precedent, the precedent is there. <sighs> but how many cables can this have? I forgot. Okay, two cables in the processing lab. Cool. So, like I said, the main things that we. Yeah, pro yeah, definitely, definitely more weight. Three lander cans are actually remarkably light. They're half a ton and a bit. Half. Yeah, look at that, five six six. So you know that already easily puts it without even actually doing the math. It puts it easily under two tons when combined. Now the hitchhiker can carry one more kerbal, but we are not likely to be sending that many kerbals in. And this also would make it a bit more unwieldy to launch, uh, or would require launching as a separate module. Again, this is a uh, this is not meant to be actually used. These are for emergencies. Like I'm putting I'm putting these in in case we have to, you know, ditch the actual, the, you know, yeah, if we cannot bring the actual Kerbal. Like the actual craft that the Kerbal are on back, if if whatever lander module or you know s science lab or whatever, if we cannot bring that back, then we put the Kerbals in this thing and just bring back the transfer stage. Ugh, this is a plan B. But yeah, because from the yeah, from, from here, because from here lower we will attach just, like I said, mainly it's gonna be fuel, either fuel or lab. Labs, fuel and kerbals. That's what, that's the three things that matter here. And obviously science, science equipment. And science equipment, I very deliberately am not making any science equipment a part of the original design. Because kerbals can very easily, you know, just take the science out of the of the experiments and bring them on board into the land accounts and that would save weight if we do not bring the experiments back we just bring the data we don't care about the experiments themselves we care a bit about you know how much they cost to build but that's about too yeah 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 we, yeah again we have rcs for turn turning this thing does have some reaction wheels of its own although i will add more now that you've mentioned it i think i will add a bit more and just in case uh yeah i will i will add a dedicated i'll add it to the bottom i think one, one of these advanced in my stabilizers should be more than enough to keep us rotating and we don't particularly care about rotating quickly 
Right, this is interplanetary burns. We're not, we're not doing any, you know, quick, any, any real piloting, any advanced piloting with this thing. No, it's all, it's all, it's all for the long, long term shit. So again, so I will probably put one of those in there though. So like the payload, let, let me just try and build up uh, an example payload for well, for, for what we'll actually go to another planet. We will use one of these tweak scale to two meter scale. That will, yeah. Then, uh, and the, and the, the, a coupling, coupling, coupling. Then it will be a, a, a lab. Okay, again, I'm done. This is not. It is, all of this is an example. A lab. Uh, coupling, 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 another. Oh, oh shit, where, uh, uh, hey, what? Where's it go? No! Where are you? Control Z? Oi, what the fuck? It's gone! I can't control- I can't control Z! Uh, let me open- I'm just gonna re reload the save real quick here. Yeah, okay, we're much better. <laughs> it just got- it, things just disappeared, bloody hell. I was spooky. Thank you, Kerbal Space Program. This isn't- this isn't even Space Kraken, this is Kerbal Kraken. This is the editor cracking. Editor cracking, cracking my head. Okay, let's try this again. Big fuel tank. Maybe two of. No, probably not. Probably not two of these. Docking port. A lab. A, a laboratory. Laboratory. I need uh, another docking port. I forgot about docking ports. Docking port. Now, let's try moving it up again. And this time not fuck it up. It makes it disappear! What? That's consistent! That's can. Why is that consist- Why is that cons- And it like, it properly disappeared. Don't save. Absolutely do not save. Why does that make it disappear? What? what? <laughs> yeah, I launched. I guess, guess I did. I mean, I can put it all the way to the ceiling. And bring it all the way back. Why is it like that? Why did, why, why, why does Kerbal Space Program hate me today? Because like, it didn't want me using the ball, which I guess was its way of warning me that, you know, it's way too heavy.
I'm very confused just about this. I'm like the entire thing is just like but this might end up I might we might end up straight up not launching this thing today because I'm just I was already feeling sleepy, so I don't know. Uh, like, it hasn't been me two hours, but like, I, f I just don't know. I'm. Okay. Now, uh, let's try this again. This, I'm gonna try and build it again, this time without moving the thing. I just want to demonstrate the concept. I don't even want to actually launch this thing yet. I, uh, like, I don't think we're quite ready for the planetary. But we're getting close, like we're getting very close to for, to being ready for in the planet and I... Okay, fuel, lab, and f and land, right? Okay, f that's that's the idea. Fuel, lab, land. Just fuel, lab, land. Land would have will also have science on it, and we might bring some extras like a couple com satellites or maybe like a you know a scanning satellite that we could launch you know on a on a th that could be adjusted to a uh, not orbital, but orbital, orbital, orbital trajectory. Obviously, it's going to be an orbital trajectory. What I meant is a polar orbit, and you know, scan the planet for fuel for all. I remember when that? I remember when that stuff was only in mods. Kathleen was a really cool mod, by the way. Like first time, it was just such a. It, it was an, incre an incredibly cool mod. Oh, we actually ha already have our service kind. I forgot. I forgot that I already got that thing. This is cooler, actually. We, we, we actually, we're gonna send one of those to, these to the moon, for sure. And to Minimus. We're gonna send a pair of these. We can't quite... I don't think we can uh, ma start mining it yet, but... Magnetometer, boom. I just want to take a look at what it looks like extended. Boom! Yeah, that's a boom. Cool. Yeah, I, and like the science, they, the, the, the lab would have some science in it, but like definitely a science junior, couple mystery goose, mystery goose, mystery geese, maybe, and just like maybe maybe not this big. Like maybe the lander would probably actually be quite small, so that they can, for example, you know, land on Dune and make its way back, and would probably. We'll probably use a Mark II lander can actually with two people in it because we don't like if we need we don't eh, we might need an engineer we'll see we might want a three people port okay question so you see currently our delta V is you know five thousand nine hundred fifty four if I add one of these things does nothing. This time it does. What? What is going on? What if I add it on top? Does nothing. But but at that but attaching it direct. What? Wait. What? So attaching this thing direct. I thought the issue is that attaching this directly to a fuel tank causes me to lose all the delta V for some reason. I don't think that makes any sense. I don't think that makes any sense. 
I mean, this is better anyway in terms of you know in, ter in terms of mass. I'm but I'm, I'm actually so confused right now. But mm, yeah. And then we we have to you know maybe not this big of a fuel tank because this only has to make it back to it, but more like this fuel tank maybe. Yeah, and just uh, uh, we attach a bunch of signs to the sides. And the, but the the real the real question is which I think we m this might actually be a good use case. Uh, could be a good use case for a bobcat, no? Like 400 is pretty good, not too efficient, but efi efficient enough. Like, I, I would have to look up, you know, just how, just how much you need to take off from, say, Duna, because that's our goal. Taking off from, a, a, like, an evil ender would obviously be much more complex. It would require, you know, an actual separate booster stage. It would have to be a multi-stage thing. Like, on Duna, you can kind of get away with a single stage. Kind of. But anyway, yeah, this is how it would be built. And this is actually quite a lot of yeah, again like 5,000 meters per second is actually more than enough to get to Dune and back like this fuel tank is more than enough like this thing obviously it has like no thrust to weight ratio but we don't particularly care you know when doing orbital maneuvers that doesn't matter nearly as much we can we can spend we, we can take our time burning honestly though I think I'm just gonna finish up the theme here because I, I'm i feeling, I don't know, I'm just feeling really tired today. I don't know, I'm just really, really, maybe it's the weather, maybe it's something, I don't fucking know why it is, I'm, but I'm just, uh, we, so like, I think, it's, uh, you know, we, we d didn't even make it two hours today, but that's okay. I'm allowed to have a short stream every once in a while. Yeah, I'm just super done. I'm just super done for today, and uh, hoping I'll do better. Uh, yes, t tomorrow we we'll might we might do some racing practice. We might do some minions tournament practice. We'll see. I do have one more league I want to sign up to. I do have you know m minion masters tournament which I already signed up to. I will be playing in that. And you know we will do a couple. We'll do a couple of practice games before it, obviously, but not too many, so I don't get, you know, so I don't get, don't have time to get too angry at the game before we even start. And obviously it's not gonna be like one big, big, big event on it. It'll be, it, it's a fishbowl one, so over play over time, much, much, much more chilled out. But for now, are we gonna have to end it here, folks? Thanks to everybody for coming by. Hope you enjoy your, the rest of your day. And I mean, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna straight up go and lie down. I'm that I'm that sleepy, man. So yeah.